uh, into the work of God, there's so much fight in the church because we don't understand ourselves. The journey is so difficult, we don't understand. Even you don't even know whether this person is a man of God. You, man of God, you don't even know another man of God that is a true man of God. Because how difficult the job. Are you with me? Come, let me give you a good example. Come, brother, come. Come. Come here. Stand here. Okay, see? See? So we, ministers of God, we are all ministers of God. Could you believe that uh, we may not even know we are all ministers of God? This one may not even know that this one is, is, is a child of God like him. And he will be fighting him. Why this one too will continue to fight him? Can you see? And what is the cause of this? Why we don't even know ourselves? Why? Because we don't know the strength of the ministry. The strength of the ministry is not the crowd. The strength of the ministry is not the number of people that worship or the number of branches you have all over the world. The strength of the ministry is the Holy Spirit. Amen. There are many ministers of God that have five members and they are more anointed than some ministers of God that have the biggest crowd in the world. Yeah. That they know you all over the world does not mean you are the most anointed person. Yeah. That your ministry is known all over the world does not mean you are the most anointed person in the world. Men of God, they don't know that. Your church is the biggest in the world. Does not mean you are the most anointed person. There are some minister, five members, mushroom church, that are more anointed than you. So the moment we know this, no more fights. We are running for member. Everybody is trying to have the largest churches in the world. Everybody is trying to have branches everywhere. Everybody is trying to have crowd to be known. Everybody is trying to be known all over the world. This is the cause of fight. And we disregard the truth, the principle. Okay, if the largest number of the branches and all over is the most anointed, why the synagogue only Kotunikbe and is known all over the world? Here in Kotunegbe, a small village, only just a narrow road that linked to the church and known all over the world. And we refuse to advertise our program in any channel apart from humanity. And you cannot see the signboard anywhere all over the world. When you are coming here, you can't see signboard, signposts to tell you this is the direction of the church. Think about that. And we will never one day look for you if you don't come to church. Nobody will want to know your house and begin to disturb you. Why are you not come to church? What is the problem? You have to come to church, okay? You don't need to collect any letter before you leave this ministry. If you want to leave, leave, leave. Because you, I never ask you letter before you come to this church. So we are just talking of the strength of the ministry. The strength of the ministry. Once we know that, no problem. So thank you, brother. Thank you.
God has given us adverts. God has given his ministry advert. Every living ministry has advert, three advert. What you say about me is an advert to me when you live here. If you live here today, tomorrow you now go to the town and say, ah, that man is devil, he's not a man of God, you are advertising me. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow you just live here and say, ah, that church, don't go there. They used to tie people down. You know, you say, bachelor, you are indirectly advertising me. Because the people you are telling will want to confirm whether truly they tie people down. By the time they now come and find out that the people are not tied down, they become member. <laughs> I've been using this advice for many years. People don't know. This is why I did not have side post. No board. You cannot see any side post outside. This is advice God has given me for the past 30 years. God said, don't have any sign post, sign board. People will advertise your ministry to the war. Free or charge. Thank you for your advice. So, you two, live the truth. Let people advertise you. Don't fight. Whatever people say about you, if truly you are genuine, whether they condemn you or they spoil your name, they praise you, they are for your good. Take your time. Just ask yourself, what brought you here? You will know what people say about me that brought you here. You are here to confirm. And that confirmation will lead you to friend. We will soon become friends. So that is it. So don't fight. Take it easy. What people say about your business? What people say about your family? What people say about your life out there? They are for your good. If truly you are sent by God, it will turn around to favor you. 